Well, hey there. Uh, I don't think you guys wanted to watch me paint that the wrong color, and I was not happy with it. I'm Ryan and welcome back to 113 Cycles. Today we got a little quick one for you. We're just going to be painting the down tube here that we got for our CT90. Um, this one is mom's red because, well, can't find them in yellow. So, uh, it, sorry, in silver, which is what it's supposed to be. Um, so we're basically just going to scuff this up. It's got a good paint job anyways. You can see on there. It's got a nice matte finish to it. I do need a couple little spots I have to go over. And the other side is nice and gloss. Move that around see if you can catch it up. So we need to make this side look like this side. We're just going to sand it down, wipe it off, prep it, hit it with some spray paint. Uh, later on when we redo the bike, we'll go ahead and when we, you know, fully disassemble the bike, then we'll go ahead and do it a little bit better. Uh, but we want a good looking job now with it. We'll do bottom and top and everything like that. So we don't want it to look bad, uh, but it doesn't need to be showroom, just uh, as good as I can with a rattle can and some sandpaper and some scuffing pad. So let's get sanded. I'm doing this over my trash can because, well, there's a lot of noise outside and I don't want to make a huge mess in the shop. So, uh, you know, basically we're just, I mean, that's all it takes. You know, you're just getting the light scuff, trying to keep the directions the same on it. It doesn't necessarily need to be, but just kind of, you know, if we're not, this is uh, just a scuffing pad. All right, you can see, we got some wet on here, and yeah, I'm touching it with my fingers. Um, I did it with, I took it in the house, rinsed it off really well, and then a real light solution of Dawn and water, good warm water, just to give it a good rinse off to get all the, the dust particles off on it. Um, I'm gonna take a microfiber cloth, I'll dry it off, um, and then uh, I think I'll tack cloth it. I'm not, I'm gonna start on the bottom first. Um, I don't have a good way to hang it to do the whole thing all at once, I wish I did because um, I could probably just hang it like that and spray the whole thing, but I don't, so I'm gonna sit it like this and I'll paint the bottom sides with it first. Um, and there'll be a little overspray on the edges, but we'll light sand those and then, then we'll flip it over and paint the other side all at once, so hopefully that'll work. Um, so first thing we gotta do is dry it off uh, before we prep it for paint. All right, we're all dry. Uh, I dried it off, then I took the air gun and blew it off even more to try and get any of the little spots off on there. So it is uh, as dry as I'm gonna get it. So now we're gonna wipe it down with a brand new microfiber cloth and rubbing alcohol. I've got gloves on now so we won't get fingerprints on it. Uh, trying again, you know, I'm not a perfect painter but at least we can um, try and eliminate what we can. All right, we've got a tack cloth here in the bag that I opened just a little bit ago. So we're gonna take this, actually, sorry, this was an old one. Um, we're gonna take this and wipe it down, try and get the dust off. I know that seems counterproductive. That probably seems counterproductive because I am doing this outside and the wind's blowing. I think I found a decent spot with it, but we still need to wipe this around, try and get everything off again. I am wearing gloves, so I know it's not gonna be perfect, but if you're thinking things are gonna be perfect on this channel, you are definitely watching the wrong channel. All right, I think we're ready to go outside and paint it.
well, hey there. Uh, I don't think you guys wanted to watch me paint that the wrong color, and I was not happy with it. So uh, I did get it all painted. It came out amazing, but it was the wrong color. Uh, I had a side cover as well that needed to be painted, and I just didn't do it because I just wasn't happy with that color. So we're going to jump ahead, and I'm going to paint it the right color. Uh, I'm not going to show any of the actual painting with it. Um, you know, there's plenty of videos out there of people actually laying the paint with it, but hopefully you'll get to see what it looks like when it gets done. Um, like I said, that was a couple months ago. Uh, it's now in the middle of summer, 100 plus degree day, so I had a little bit of trouble running it back and forth from the shop. I try to paint outside and then carry everything back in, so I was trying to hurry. Uh, the final finish on the down tube itself was a little bit more matte than I would have liked. I was expecting it to be a little bit more shiny, but I think that's because of the heat. So, but let's jump ahead and show you what it looks like now. All right, well, we're back. I wasn't done with it. I didn't like the color. I think it was the wrong color. It was too, too bright. So I'm going with a darker color. This is the side cover off of it. Uh, it's been some time, by the way. Uh, but basically what I did was I hit this with the 800 and then a 400. It got a couple little scratches and stuff here. They're, they're not as bad as they look on camera. I do believe the primer will fill that stuff up. Uh, I had a couple spots on this one here and down here that were pretty bad. Um, I don't know, scratches, whatever you want to call it. So hit that with 400, 800, and I washed it off. Uh, I still need to do the other one. We're going to scuff it up and then we'll repaint and then we'll come back. So let's grab the other piece. All right, here's that down tube that we painted earlier. It actually came out great. I mean, it, it's, I'm not even sure there's a run on there. Maybe there is, but I'm not sure. So it's kind of a shame. Uh, so we are gonna repaint it though, both sides with the darker color. But first thing I'm gonna do is just scuff it up so the paint will stick. All right, these are the ones we're gonna be using. Uh, all we're doing is just scuffing it so that the new paint will stick to it. We're not trying to sand out any imperfections or anything. This will give us some minor stuff, but hopefully the paint will cover it up. All right, guys, kind of hard to tell. We are in the shade, you can see. Got a couple spots where we went down to the paint on it, trying to get down in those grooves. But basically all I did was just hit it real quick. It's still wet, I just washed it off, just to knock the shine off of it. So we got something to the paint, paint to stick to. It's uh, over 100 degrees out here, I believe. Uh, it certainly feels like temperature on it. Uh, so I am not gonna be painting it today. Hopefully I can paint it in the morning. Um, but we are sanded. We got more prep to do, uh, but we are sanded and ready to go. All right, here's a quick update. See, got a little bit of primer thrown on here, just from the bottom side. Uh, that's my little nick there, you can see. Uh, but I'm about to lay the rest of the primer on and then we'll see how those scratches came out. But just a quick update. And that's what we're using right there. So let me get the spray. Here's the respray of the down tube cover. And this time I'm spraying it with uh, Dupacolor wheel coating paint, and it is graphite. The research that I've done shows that this should be closer to the proper color, uh, so we'll find out. This is just the first light coat after sanding, so we still had the silver underneath, but I thought I'd just show you a quick picture of that using my Chewy Box as a protector, not sponsored, of course. There we are with the first coat. So we'll come back after I get it all done. All right, here's the down tube. I should have left it alone, but I can't do that. So there was a couple small runs and a couple little blotchy spots over in this area through here. So I took 1500 wet sandpaper and sanded it down. And uh, cause I just, I should have left it alone. It wasn't that bad. I was gonna deal with it later in the future, but uh, I didn't want to. So I've sanded this down now with 1500, like I said, wet paper uh, all the way around. Now I'm gonna have to go back and rescuff it again so that I can lay more paint on it, hopefully a little bit easier. It's a lot hotter today, so I'm gonna be quicker taking it in and out. So, uh, like I said, sanded, you can see some of the spots here. You can see the dots here where I sanded the cover off. It was silver under, if you remember. And uh, so you can see, so it doesn't jump out as bad how, how light it is, but it's definitely light since I, I did that same. There was a lot of overspray from when I did the other side. And I didn't like that. There was a lot of, uh, of overspray down in here that was clumpy. So that was the other thing that I was cleaning up with it. So I should have sanded it before I painted the top side, um, you know, do the bottom side and then sand the top to get that out. And I probably wouldn't have had any problems, but since I didn't do that, it puts me just behind a little bit, but that's not a big deal. So you look at the side cover. So here is the side cover, which I also scuffed with 1500. Um, just real lightly just to get that overspray off because I learned my lesson from the other piece. I hadn't painted 
the that yet so basically what you have is primer on the top and a little bit of paint down here on the sides from when it was flipped over so i'm letting that dry uh, i've washed it off really good with dawn i'm letting it dry and then we'll wipe it down with um, alcohol that's what i've been using that's working good and a tack cloth and then we can start painting that but i will wait until i get that ready to go and then when that's ready i'll do them both at the same time so, all right let's we'll come back when i get some paint on here well it's a couple days later and we have the parts installed paint came out really good uh, see there here's our side cover we'll go around and show you the other side i'm really happy with how those turned out no real runs it could have been a little bit shinier on this side but man i'm really happy with it so for what i did with it and painting it, it was 100 degrees and i kept bringing it inside i'd spray it outside and bring it right inside and spray it outside and bring it right out right inside so i try not to do much spray painting trying to keep the shop clean so anyways guys this came out really well i know it was a little bit longer video for just two pieces but really appreciate you guys watching so uh if you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. See some more content. There'll be some more on this bike coming later on. Hopefully we'll get some riding videos with it. It is street legal now, so I'm really excited about that. So, again, thank you guys. Appreciate it.